Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Blindly Plays Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Today, let's look at the regulations, because I didn't actually read those last time. Rule 1, extreme violence is prohibited on the island. Please live peacefully and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Rule 2, please be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature in mutual prosperity. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. Any exception to this rule is made if any student violates the rule. Oh, an exception. Okay. So if like we litter, she'll show up and like bash her brains in. And pet. Come on, let's raise it. Yeah, okay. Uh, B? We gotta press B to get out of here? Perhaps. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Let's leave. Hey. Ah, uh, about exploring the island. It appears a map of this island has been installed in the e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually... To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about, about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Huh? You, you don't know? The school is so popular, there are message boards online, online dedicated to talk about it to its students. Then, was I also? Huh, I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. How unexpected. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake, I was accepted into Hope's Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help out too, so why don't we begin making our introductions? Okay, right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone on this island, then. Oh, I should apologize. There was something else I forgot to tell you. If you look at the map in your e-handbook, you will be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Also, when you travel to a point with an explanation mark, the story will progress. It's super convenient. Now then, let's go. Ooh, that's a... First Island! Okay. Travel on the island can be done through this screen. You can move with the left stick. You can run with the... Uh, run by holding the B button while you move. If you press the left and right directional buttons, you can also instantly move to the next area. Uh, then, when the reticle responds, you can go inside places by pressing the A button. You'll probably realize it by now, but you can... But, but you happen to have your very own pet inside your handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you've taken. So try walking to places instead of using map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. What? Why does... Oh, what the hell was it? It was a, like an SNES game. The Angry Video Game Nerd did a review on it at one point. Oh man, I can't think of the name. I'll have to Google it after I'm done. Um, weird outlines on the trees back there. Let's go look at the map real fast. So, we are here. We got two people there, two people there, two people there. And a whole bunch of people there at the Hotel California site. Let's go to the ranch. How do I get to the ranch? Is this the ranch? This looks like an airport. It is an airport. Can we just leave? This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be buses. You're right. Not airplanes. No, that's that's stupid. Can we use those planes to skip the island? If you know how to fly it. Uh. <laughs> that's impossible. Apparently this guy's a part demon. If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just planes are just for show. Just for show? Man. Yeah, the engine I completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, Uza uh, Uzami? But who's doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. Hi, I'm Soda. The ultimate mechanic. Yeah, I called it. Ya. I mean, it kind of fits the bill to the T, right? 
Don't know about the demon teeth, though. As expected from someone called the ultimate mechanic, uh, so does a, a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix a plane, it truly is beyond repair. Hey. And even so, to actually move the engine, who, whoever's keeping us here must have planned it to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Oh yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh... That was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember the school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Uh, we already looked at them. We already looked at them! You don't have to show it to us again! For now... It looks like we're being kept safe, so why do- why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? Hmm. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful, relaxing days nourishing hope. As uh, Yuzami- Yuza uh, I'm probably mispronouncing that at this point. Yeah, Yuzami said earlier, it seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Is there luggage over there? Can we steal that? Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know. What? Don't be such a pessimist. You, you the one that said you were a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right. You literally said you looked through things with a passive, this like a pessimistic lens. Yeah, well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange-looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I mean... I guess... Yeah, sure. But why not? I'm actually jealous how carefree he's being right now. Thank you for the hope, Fragment. Hi. Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Huh? Hmm. I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What is this guy talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness, however, I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well. Okay, For Gundam. It is the name that will one day rule this world. Are you are you actually a Gundam or are you like a ninja? Ultimate breeder. Okay. <laughs> when you say breeder, like, do you breed dogs, cats, lizards, snakes? I hope, because I can't imagine how would you you achieve the other one. Rule the world? He's kidding, right? He's actually serious. That's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then, it is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Huh? You. Which tribe did you make your pack with? Answer me! What do you mean, pack? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! I, I mean, I just finished Final Fantasy 2, so you're not wrong. Answer me now! Though I shall though I shall cast you into a watery cave once you do. Then it's best if I don't answer! Perhaps? I think he's asking if he used to have a pet. Pet? No. The, the only animal I ever taken care of was a hermit crab who we passed around my elementary school. Impossible! So a mere insect? Huh. Your magic essence caps at a lowly five. Trash. Trash, really? Huh. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak with that to one as grand as me. My name is Gundam Tanaka. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, Supreme Overlord of Ice! Hold on a minute, something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! <laughs> I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna like this guy, huh? Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret arc of the Tanaka Empire. 
It's like something you see at an, on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. <laughs> One of my four dark divas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk John P, has this to say. We, we're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> well, we obtained a hope dragon for that, huh? We didn't lose all hope. No? We, we, we obtained. Uh, yeah. I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly on as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any animal, even managed to succeed at prolificating an endangered and an endangered uh, an endangered species. There we go, Kronos. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough to for that in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside his own scarf. Ah, normal's overrated. Anything else here? We can look at the planes. I guess so. Uh, anything over here? Oh, we get monitors. Now, in the last game, after a while, it pretty much was just looking at stuff to get coins. I'm not sure how that's going to work in this game. Uh, the game's off to a rather different start than the first game, though. Hey. Okay. Sure. Says the guy that said he was a pessimist earlier. Why not? Okay, um, which way did we actually go? It's the ranch. Oh, we're at that, so... That's the bridge. So I guess if we went... Left? We could have got to the airport. I mean, eventually we're gonna reach all of them, right? So we're gonna run for a little bit. Race my Tamagotchi. Haven't had one of those since I was like, I thought that was a Pokemon for a second. Uh, I haven't had a Tamagotchi. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ! I can't even remember the age I was when I had a Tamagotchi. So this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. A lot of coke. If we're on Trouble Island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food or other necessities for a while. For a while? Wow. Uh, it's the figure of speech. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if they're all? What if all the stuff is poison? What? Huh? You certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am. Even the supermarket is strange. Look around. We're in a gigantic supermarket, and there's no one else here but us. Oh, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say the island was un is uninhabitable? That's that's exactly my point. Ah! What happened? It's nothing. What? She's staring at me funny. Um, you, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean to make you cry. Why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying your girl. Not cool, Hajime. I didn't. I didn't do anything. <laughs> so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Yeah, I don't mind you remembering it. My, my name is Mikan Sumiki. Hi, Mikan. Mikan. From the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Okay. The ultimate nurse. You don't say. Uh, you know... <laughs> my mind is drawing you blank from nervousness. And I went through all the trouble of preparing 50,000 different topics to discuss about after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. Hey, don't make promises like that. Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so... What's her deal? Uh, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. Uh, if you ever get injured, she'll you'll need her help, so it's best if you get along with her now. If I get, if you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid, so naturally. <laughs> ah, sorry for laughing all of a sudden. 
Just can't help it. I'm just so happy I can't remember the last time I made any friends. That's jumping to conclusions. I don't even know you. Not that you actually want to be friends with me. Okay, now I feel bad. I'm sorry that I said something so presumptuous. I'll do anything you say, just please don't hate me. Man. Bullying your girl. Not cool, Hajima. Hajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? Yeah, I know. Level up! What? Did I gain any hit points? What does that mean, level up? Down here? Oh, yeah, we should look at everyone's likes and dislikes. Likes bathroom smells, okay. And alcohol. All right, sure. I'm assuming rubbing alcohol. Maybe? And hates oversized things. <laughs> oh, oh god damn it, of course they have the chest fucking measurements. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Uh, likes Coke. I'm assuming you're not talking about the drink. And sugar-free things. You dislike them, huh? Uh, likes four dark divas of destruction. Devas, diva, probably divas of destruction in earthly life. Okay, let's go check the punk lady. Hi. Peeking. Peeking. You're peeking? Hello. Oh, hi. Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm uh, Jimmy Hinata. Hello. Your tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? Oh. Oh, that's right. Uh, introductions are a go-go. Hi, Buki. Well, okay, so she's not the ultimate punk star. She's the ultimate musician. Sure. Yes. All right, introduction or finish. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see. They've got see. hamburgers, ramen noodles, chili beans, a bratwurst, pasta, oh, melons. No problem. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from U U Ubari would stop here. Yeah. Man, I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoked for, our, for all this deliciousness. Okay, I'm definitely gonna get along with you. And when I'm excited, I get hungry mungry. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? You're a foodie. The human body shares a mystery. <laughs> this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently, their hit single after school Poyo Yan Hour sold over a million copies. A super popular all girl high school band. That sounds familiar. What? Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my my! Are you interested? Uh, you can hear me? <laughs> Ta, Buki's a magician after all. Guitar! <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. Okay. Oh, I like your stalking, actually. You're a very energetic girl, aren't you? That's, yeah, Udon's a noodle, isn't it? Okay, let's... Well, yeah, I guess we can check out the cola. That is clearly a ripoff of Coke. That's one big uh, big bottle of cola. I better go flat after you just, uh, before you can even finish it. Yeah, probably. If you try to finish it in one go, you probably, like, have a, like, I don't know, you throw up, probably? Throw some Mentos in there. There's more camera stuff. Some of this stuff looks like real items in reality. So I'm assuming why the quality of the texture is low, so they can't tell. Oh, probably Monokuma coins or whatever they're going to be called in this game. I mean, I guess not. Surfing could be fun, though. I don't think I've ever really... I've done, like, boogie boarding. That's about it, though. And what's this? Diving gear? They're military goods. 
Oh yeah, you know you're right. That's like night vision goggles and stuff like that. So that's probably gonna come into play at some point. Is that it? All right, let's check out. Let's stop pressing that button for one, and let's check out uh, Ibuki's likes and dislikes. Um, one second. Really? Where's the nurse lady? I, 30? Re really? Not that it matters, it just seems odd, because it just doesn't seem like that. Like the, I mean, I guess she's not as wide? I don't know, it's probably, let's change the subject. Her date of birth, November 27th, good for you. She likes walking, napping, and gaming. We are so relatable. Dislikes boredom. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> so I guess next up would be going to... Uh, going, like, all the way back down to here, and then taking the opposite path to get to here. Ooh! There are five islands, apparently. Okay. Sure. Let's go this way. Can I... We'll check out my pet later. I'm gonna say maybe my pet actually has, I don't know, hatched? Cows? Cows, huh? Um. This looks like a ranch. Though there aren't any, there aren't many animals around. Right? Ah, oh, you found it out. You again, seriously, where do you keep a parent from? I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear everywhere, anywhere on the island. And I'll think the handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Is she talking about that toy she's holding? Hmm. Huh, still, I'm quite troubled. A ranch without a moo without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty, just leave the me and my handy dandy magic stick. There's a there's cows out there. Oh god, is Magic Boo gonna show up? But we had cows! That was the only chicken! What? Huh, a huge success! What? What was all that just now? A chicken changed into a cow. That's not it. Nah, it's probably some sort of trick or an illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like this, that is just not cool, you know? But seriously, that was the only goddamn chicken we had, I think. There's like two cows out front. What about this toucan? I mean, to be fair, that makes sense, right? The paint's still wet. Huh. Oh, do I have a... Am I gaining experience up there? Looks like it, kind of. I just noticed the bar. Oh, it is going up every time I... Ex oh. Every time I ex uh, search something, it goes up a little bit. A little bit? I'm assuming most of it comes from talking to people, yeah? I have no idea. Okay, let's talk to you. Hi. Squish, squish. Squish, squish, apparently. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and making and keeps pressing her fingers onto the floor with her, all of her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? Uh, my name is Hajimi Hanata. Hmm. I'm Hiyoko Sayanji. Hi, Hiyoko. Ultimate traditional dancer. Okay. Squish, squish. Squish, squish. She hasn't stopped pressing her fingers onto the floor. Seriously, what is she doing? And her parents and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually. Hiyoko's talents has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. 
It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. Boo! It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Hey, what exactly are you doing? <laughs> I'm squishing. Squishing what? I'm squishing lots of ants. Okay. Come again. <laughs> if you squish their tummies just right, they make this awesome sound. So like, so like you're going to be a serial killer or are a serial killer? Hey, you <laughs> you want to do it together? Absolutely not. Okay. You <laughs> wuss. This kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Hi. Yo. Yo. Hey, who's who? Who are you, dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm a uh, uh, Jimmy Hanada. Gotcha. Who's this other dude? What? Uh, have we met already? <laughs> I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering your names, and I've met so many interesting characters today. Uh, I'm uh, Nakito Komada. Uh, if you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo. My no. name's Akane Owari. Hi, nice Akane. To nice to meet you too. Ultimate gymnast. Okay. Well, the Kenny is uh, Kenny is known as the ultimate gymnast and all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the chart. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnast routines are mostly improvised. If she's in the groove, she she performs splendidly. If she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she called the she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. Does she? Does she? What? Huh, don't tell me you... Oh, I get it. You have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're really being loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Okay. okay. Well, let's, I guess, check a look at their likes and dislikes, because that's always fun. Uh, where are you? You. July 15th, fighting meat. Working hard. Okay, so you like fighting and meat, but yeah, you hate working hard. Makes sense. Where is the little one? Uh, she likes squishy, squ uh, squish, squishy, and lectures and sour stuff. Okay, you're 4'2 and 68 pounds. Holy sh Jesus. I could literally throw you. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I could literally. Just pick you up and throw you a good amount of distance. Why is that the first thing you think about? Um, hi? Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought it was like sitting in a hatched egg. I don't have any presents, I think. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm sorry. But, bye. Glad you're alive. Oh, is the level gauge for the pet? Hmm. That makes sense. Wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps? This is Hotel uh, Mi Mire. Huh? It looks like it's named after the Japanese words for future. When you were told to live on the island, I was worried we'd have to pinch a tent or something. I'm glad. <laughs> if we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. I can just accept this. You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base, so why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think the situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? I, I guess. A map, will, a map will be displayed if you press the... Y button again, probably. You said the Y button. You said the Y button. Don't make me repeat myself. Yes, it is the Y button. Um. So these are the dorms. 
Okay. Uh, do we... Should I ch check these rooms? No, okay. Probably gotta go up here then. Oh yeah, there's people here. Yeah, who the hell are you? Cause you seem like someone I'm not gonna like. Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. This guy is already an idiot. Who are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? You're tiny. Relax, uh, Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Hey. So you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Okay, so you're Ken from Digimon. And also, I don't care. Ultimate Yakuza. Really? More like Ultimate Bitch Boy. Even though he's got a baby face, he's incredibly rude. Uh, Fuyuhiko is a high school student and is heir to the Kuzu Ryu clan. Huh? The Kuzu Ryu clan? Don't tell me he's. Yep. I'm sure you at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzu Ryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership of surpassing 30,000. How admirable. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. Here to the Yakuza clan, and it's the Kuzu Ryu clan, no less. Actually. By the way, mentioning this ba his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. Give me the option! You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. Nah, I'd like to see that. That was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. No, no, no. No, no, no. Give me the option game. Uh, Nagito... You're like my savior or something. <laughs> You're just exaggerating. Uh, guess not. Hey, bastard! I'm gonna drown you in this pool. We're all done here. How about you, dumbasses, make like a tree and fuck off? Kick, kick him in the pool. Kick him in the pool. Huh? We'll take the ladder away. I don't think he's smart enough to climb out on the side like a sim. That guy over there. Hi. I like your hair. Hey. Hey, aren't you the guy who, who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying his face in, in your arms? Were we doing that? Uh, yeah. You, are a boy, right? you gotta keep it together, you know. At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. Are you a Girl Scout and not a photographer? I'm noticing, like, the badges. I think those are badges. You're, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe that's just sewn on design. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. I'm Mahiro Koizumi. I'm Mahiro. I'm on you from now on. Oh, great. Prepare to be disappointed. You are the ultimate photographer. Okay. Actually. <laughs> Mihiru is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future in a photojournalist, maybe. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there's a camera hanging on around her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Aww. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Huh, decent. <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or like, just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I'm worried things wouldn't go well. Get off the island? What do you mean? Huh? What, you don't know? That's what the stuffed animal who's, uh, who's on me was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, Come on. this joke of, of a school trip will be over and we can all leave the school island together. That's all we have to do and we can go home? Is that true? Did you really mean that? <laughs> hey, you should be paying a closer attention. This is, like, really important. And that's apparently the menu. Hey. <laughs> hey, Hajima, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. Why didn't you tell me this? So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Even so, what's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along, it doesn't make any sense. What? I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not a big deal, really. We're told we're on a school trip without any warning, then we're taken to a place like this, then we're told to forget about Hope Speak Academy. Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Hey! Uh? You... Don't, uh, me! What about your introduction? I have been, I've been waiting, like, forever, you know? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm Hajime Hanada. Uh, nice to meet you, too. 
I see. Hajime Hanada, huh? Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as the unreliable Hajima. Hajime. It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whooped already, Hajime. I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Um. So there was like, there was like a lot of people here, right? Okay, so there's three out here, two inside, and two inside even further. Okay. Well, we'll finish this up next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video second, check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.